I wanted to talk about just um, two different types of activities today. I want to talk about maintenance activities and investing activities. And I think pretty much every activity falls into one of these two categories. The first one is maintenance stuff, which is basically the day-to-day -day stuff that you have to do every day to maintain your current status quo. Say, if you don't want your teeth to fall out, you have to brush your teeth in the morning. If you don't want to stink, you know, remain clean, I mean, clean, not cleansed. You need to take a shower. You need to eat to maintain your body weight. So these are all maintenance activities, and you have to mail off that bill, et cetera, et cetera, so you can keep your cable. And just kind of, you know, stuff like that, and like show up to work on time. Just maintaining your life, and then after you get those out of the way, you usually have time left over during the day, and that's when you go to the second type of activities, investing, which investing, I think, are the most important set of activities you can do. Investing, you can listen to a podcast, learn something new. You could learn about financing, and learn how to manage your money better, or you know, read a new book and just learn how to be a better person, or you know, apply for some college classes. Investing in yourself and investing to improve your quality of life because when you invest in yourself it raises your ability to do and you can invest with yourself with like in yourself with people relationships with people but they're all you you like it's your relationship with people you know like certain people so you can invest in all those areas but yeah it just increases your quality of life so you can do more and you can like once you increase, you increase your say your maintenance levels down here. You don't need to do a lot because you have a pretty crappy life. But then you invest in yourself, and it comes up here, and you're like, okay, now I have a different maintenance level. And then you can then you can you have something higher to stand on. So then you can reinvest, and then just kind of keeps growing and growing. And a lot of people I think fall into two categories. They either they're really good at doing the basic routines every day. But they don't necessarily get anywhere special in their life or there's people who all they think about is investing but they don't really necessarily do the day-to-day -day activities to maintain anything and I feel like either you kind of are more of like a dreamer or you're more of kind of just like you know you're more sensory person where you kind of like you have to do all these tasks which they're both of, both of those areas are important because you can't have one without the other, but to really be fulfilled and like lead more of a dynamic life, you have to do both. And this is kind of what I've been doing lately. It's just do what you can do, reinvest in yourself, and then do even more. And that's what's been working for me, and it'll just, I don't know. I mean, I do know it works. So it's just my thoughts. And if you have other, some other kind of system, that should, you should share it or something. Um, or leave, leave comments. Not that I'm fishing for comments or anything, but this video is getting too long, so I'm going to end it. Alright, thanks for watching.